All right, let's get back over to Jen with a check of our forecast. Well, yesterday, March 1st, was the first day of meteorological spring. It indicates the transition between the three coldest months of the year and the three warmest months of the year. Now, we can expect our average high temperature to gradually climb as we head towards the end of spring. To yesterday, our average high in the upper 70s. By the end of May, we will be in the upper 80s, near 90 degrees. Of course, this end of the week has been feeling a little bit more like the end of spring compared to the first day of spring. And look at our record high yesterday, broken in West Palm Beach of 89 degrees, broke the previous record of 88 degrees, set back in 2011. And of course, we had our first 90 degree day on Tuesday in West Palm. Bright blue skies across Lake Okeechobee, 73 degrees out the door right now in downtown Okeechobee with a south wind at about six miles per hour. That south wind will draw an additional warmth through this afternoon. We're already in the upper 70s in Palm Beach County, near 80 degrees in Boca, 74 in Vero Beach, and 73 right now in Okeechobee. A great day for the beach. Temperatures this afternoon in the low to middle 80s. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds through the day with a high rip current risk along our area beaches. The surf remains at about one to two feet. Similar conditions on the water. Seas about two to three feet with a light chop on the intracoastal. Low tide just before 11 o'clock this morning. And winds are expected to increase tomorrow. So we can expect building seas as well. So kind of deteriorating conditions for tomorrow as we're expecting strong south winds for this afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s near 90 degrees inland towards Lake Okeechobee breezy with a southeast wind between 15 to 20 miles per hour. Clear and comfortable for tonight as temperatures drop back to the 60s area wide. We'll see a few passing clouds overnight, but then increasing winds tomorrow. Look at our wind gust forecast. We'll see sustained winds between 20 to 25 miles per hour. Wind gust as high as about 35 miles per hour. And this is especially through the midday hours. And we do have low humidity as well. So especially along the Treasure Coast tomorrow, we have an elevated fire weather risk. So fire weather watch is in effect for Indian River, St. Lucie, Martin, and Okeechobee County for tomorrow. And it's going to be a south wind. So this is going to draw additional heat across South Florida. Look at our afternoon highs tomorrow possibly in the lower 90s along the Treasure Coast and near Lake Okeechobee. So windy for tomorrow, temperatures still in the upper 80s on Saturday. We'll increase our shower chance by Monday.